Hi guys, this is Simeon from Switch Homestead. Today I want to show you how big of a tree you can actually cut down with a brush cutter uh, with a saw blade. Now when you look at the saw blade of this brush cutter you have this, um, the radius here and, and you know naturally there's no doubt about that um, brush or trees that are an inch to two inch are definitely the easiest to just cut out um, to, to clear the forest from, to thin it out or whatever you might do. But you know it's very easy to understand that you can use twice the side since you can cut in um, all around the tree to cut the tree down. There's even a way to cut down bigger trees than that um, by making room and, and cutting out um, more like a wedge and then you have more space to move in your saw further. However, you know, that's not really what this saw is designed for and a chainsaw would be more appropriate for that task. However, if you are in a forest where uh, you are working with a clearing saw and you're thinning it out and you come to a tree like that, you are able to cut that tree down with a clearing saw. It's not the most convenient way, it might not even be the safest way, that would definitely be more the chainsaw, but um, this video is merely to demonstrate how to cut down a bigger tree. You only want to do that if you're safe and uh, you know what you're doing. Uh, let me also state that this forest here is not a forest that I would enter with a clearing saw typically. Maybe just to cut away some brush if I had to go in here with a chainsaw and do some serious work here for some days. But um, this is a forest the size where I would go in with a chainsaw. So let's get this thing started and I'll demonstrate on this tree right behind me here. As you can see this tree right here is much bigger in diameter than what this saw typically could handle um, and this is not a tree you would typically cut down with a clearing saw. Right now we are in this forest and this tree will have to be removed anyway to give um, more light to the surrounding trees um, so they can grow better and um, have a higher quality forest. So I'm going to demonstrate this on this tree here just show you the cuts. At first I'm going to demonstrate um, how you ideally not want to cut into this tree, you will notice that I will get a kickback and the saw will, will be thrown towards the side as I enter with uh, the wrong side of the blade. I hope to give it some subtitles to explain. Let's go. Now you can see the stump, the tree fell this way and uh, you can see how there um, is uh, there's some fibers left here in the middle of it. Now when you do this with a clearing saw, you know this tree has already the potential to really 
hurt you or kill you if you do it the wrong way. So, like I said, it's not recommended to do it with a clearing saw, but if you do it, you have to make sure, you know, that the branches naturally go towards the way you want to cut it down, that the tree naturally would find um, its way in that direction. Now here you see, I couldn't reach everything from that tree, but what I could have done is, I could have done a bigger wedge here, um, cut out more here, and then entered the saw even further. So you could, you could cut down even a bigger tree um, with this uh, clearing saw like that. So this was just to demonstrate it. As you saw in the beginning, there was this kickback. So I entered the saw um, at the different area to, to have a controlled, slow cut of the saw. You also saw that the blade was very sharp, which is the absolute key for doing this.